Um, so guys, uh, I'm gonna do another video because um, I'm bored and there's really nothing else to do. Uh, today, I'm gonna be making one of my favorite um, barbecue slash grilling out side dishes. Uh, these are called ABTs or Atomic Buffalo Turds. I know it's not the most appetizing name. I didn't come up with it, but uh, it's, it's, it's a thing. Um, and basically what that is, uh, an atomic buffalo turd consists of usually a stuffed jalapeno and stuffed with what you may ask. I'm going to do um, cream cheese, seasoned cream cheese, and uh, these little uh, cocktail sausages. And then we're gonna wrap the whole thing in bacon, and then we're gonna bake it uh, in the oven for about, I don't know, 25 minutes at 350. Uh, you can also smoke these if you have a smoker. Um, and you can also grill these. Uh, it's kind of, there's kind of really not a lot of rules when it comes to these other than usually some kind of a stuffed jalapeno and usually, usually it's wrapped in bacon. And um, I've seen people use uh, andouille sausage inside. I've seen uh, ground uh, uh, chorizo, um, uh, all kinds of different stuff. So basically we're gonna start by, I'm gonna leave the stems on just kind of, so you can have a little bit of a handle when you pick these things up have all these jalapenos. Try to... Is this a jalapeno? That looks more like a serrano. No, that's a jalapeno. You can probably see my hand shaking a little bit. I'm a little hungover. Um, let's see, there we go. Okay, now, all the jalapenos are halved. Um, now I'm gonna de-vein and de-seed these things. And the easiest way to do this, actually I need a smaller spoon. The easiest way, the little trick that I use, is I usually use a spoon and kind of just slide it up and the seeds and everything usually come right out. And you don't have to get it all, just, you know, as best you can. You can leave a little bit of it in there for extra heat, but you kind of, you wanna make room for the filling, so you wanna get most of it out. And I have, I have had these smoked before and they're glorious. Um, if you have access to a smoker living uh, where we live now, obviously we don't have, we live in a building in, in, in a lower town, St. Paul, so we can't, we wouldn't, be, wouldn't have a place to have a smoker. Um, but baked, they come out just fine too. I mean, you get a lot of smokiness from that bacon and I'm also gonna be using uh, the, the smoked version of the jalapeno chipotle pepper. Um, I have some chipotle pepper that I minced and de-seeded and all that. Um, and I'll be mixing this in with the cream cheese, um, which I don't know if you know that. A lot of people, I'm surprised a lot of people don't know that chipotle peppers are just smoked jalapenos. But um, yeah, we're gonna be mixing that. So we'll get double dose of jalapeno today. And that'll give us a nice smokiness. And then with the bacon on top of that, you know, smoking these in, in a smoker at this point. With these ingredients would be a overkill, but. It'd still be good if you have one, if you have a smoker. So, this doesn't take too long if you got a spoon like this. If you use a knife, it's a little bit more of an arduous process, but this is actually pretty easy when you do it this way. Just make sure you wash your hands after this. Um, I made that mistake. Make sure you, after handling any peppers, jalapeno or hotter, always wash your hands. And definitely don't forget to wash your hands and use the bathroom because um, that's just a nightmare. I've uh, experienced said nightmare. <clears throat> we won't go into any further detail. And now my phone's ringing. I don't know who this is. Hello? I'll buzz you in, thank you. Uh, it was a delivery man, dropping off some, uh, I ordered some um, uh, Calabrian chilies that I'm gonna use for, I don't know yet, but I, I wanted them. And so I bought them. <laughs> Good story, Dan. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep working on these. Mm-hmm. Just 
touch my face. It's kind of a, it's one thing that sucks about it, wearing glasses is like, you know, and, and being a cook is, a lot of times I'm handling stuff spicy and my glasses start to slide down my face and you kind of forget because it's such a natural thing when you're a glasses wearer is uh, to constantly be pushing up your glasses and sometimes you forget you're just handling a jalapeno or a habanero or a ghost pepper and all of a sudden your face starts to burn. Once again, another good story. <clears throat> okay, almost done. Last one. So, I'm just gonna clean up this board a little bit here. Okie dokie. Now, uh, I have some softened cream cheese. Um, I just basically let the cream cheese sit out on the top of the stove while I was doing some other stuff in the oven so the residual heat softened it up really nice. And uh, the aforementioned uh, chipotles. This is uh, both the adobo sauce that's in canned chipotles and the chilies themselves minced up. And uh, this is kind of a new thing for me. I've never done it with chipotles before. Um, the reason I'm doing it is because, well, I had some leftover in the can in the fridge that needed to be used, and I um, thought it would taste good, and I'm sure it will. Uh, normally, in the cream cheese, I would usually mix some kind of a seasonal. I've done um, Tony Chachari's Cajun seasoning in here. I've done uh, just regular seasoning salt, um, all kinds of stuff. Just, just depends on, you know, your taste, what you want, whatever you think is gonna be good. So I'm just gonna mix this together. Mm, love that sound. So, so, um, yeah, I just figured this would be a nice addition to the to the turds. Yeah, I don't know who coined the term atomic buffalo turd, but I want to be their friend. Okay. That's pretty thoroughly mixed. Now, I have a little quart freezer bag here. We're going to be using this as our piping bag. So, let the outside edges over a little bit. And then we're just going to fill this bag up with this slop here. And, uh, yeah, I usually, uh, I made these, oh man, so many times and a lot of different versions, but uh, I just love this with like, as an appetizer when you're grilling out burgers or smoking some hog or whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's a good little appetizer. And you'd be surprised, it seems like it's gonna be really spicy, but with the jalapenos de-veined and de-seeded and once they get cooked, they're gonna actually lose quite a bit of their heat. So even if you think this is gonna be, this is gonna be blow your head off hot, Somebody even with uh, a minimal spice tolerance could probably eat these. Uh, I used to make these for my family and both sides of my family, both my mom and my dad, both are not great with hot stuff and they neither one had a problem eating these. So now we're gonna snip off the tip of this. I mean, the scissors. Just going to one at a time. Just fill these up. And uh, 
if there's any cream cheese left over, which I think there probably will be, uh, just this you can make this into a nice dip. Uh, you can add some. I don't know if you got a can of chili lying around or some leftover chili in the fridge. You can uh, put some of this in the bottom of a baking dish, top it with some chili, some shredded cheese. Have a nice layered chili cheese dip. Some of this is gonna leak out while it's cooking, but it'll, not all of it. I'm actually really excited to try this with the chipotles and the cream cheese. That sounds really good. He said uh, another batch of chilaquiles for breakfast, so uh, my partner just a little bit of commented uh, we're gonna have some issues later because of all the spicy stuff we're eating today. <laughs> Second meal in a row with generous amounts of jalapenos. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, see, we got a decent amount left over. We'll be able to use that for something. Now we got, uh, like I said, these little smokies. I like these. These you can get these at. Um, Aldi for just a couple bucks. They have the Hillshire Farms or the, I don't know what other brand makes them. It's uh, the regular grocery store or, uh, or Target or whatever, but those are a lot more expensive. At, at Aldi, these are the same exact product and they only cost like $2. So you just plop these right in there. I'm actually gonna trim the stem off this one or just pull it off because it's preventing that from sitting flat. Okay. Plop these right in. Look at that. I'm gonna preheat the oven now before I forget. This is one of those foods, it's a little bit of a tedious process, you know, coring each individual pepper and then piping each individual pepper, then wrapping each one in bacon. So if you uh, have a partner, somebody in, with, uh, in quarantine with you, definitely uh, hire them on to help. It's, it's fun. It's fun doing stuff like this. I'm actually, uh... are you busy? Okay. You busy? You want to help me wrap some stuff in bacon? Great. All right. So I'll, I'll I'll show you what I'm doing, and then you can. Let me wash my hands. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Some toothpicks. There should be enough. Maybe a few more. Toothpicks. So, as previously stated, we're just gonna take these, and we're just gonna wrap them up as best we can. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. Um, I might just do it around the middle. A little bit messy, but and then you just toothpick them. <clears throat> that one's definitely sloppy. Okay, I'm gonna do it better on the next one. That was terrible. You know what? I'm gonna rewrap this one. I'm not happy with that. Alright, show me how we do. So, and really, I'm just gonna wrap this just right around the middle. I'm gonna just throw a toothpick in there, and then I'm just gonna put them on this baking sheet like that. See? Just all the way around? Yep, just right down the middle. It's not a, it's, we had full bacon, I usually like do more of a wrap, but okay. since this is half pieces, I'm gonna okay. do it like this. Oh my God, these are so cute. <laughs> they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're delicious too. Do you want a stash of toothpicks already out of the drawer? Yeah, right here. Nice. I can move over for you. You go through the hot dog? I try to. Um, and the bacon's gonna shrink too while it's cooking, so it's gonna get a little bit tighter on these boys. Okay. If you don't get, just try to get it through like either the pepper or the sausage. If it's not perfect, don't worry about it. Is this one okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. On it. Here, you want to move that pan of 
bacon closer. Yes. Yeah. Ready to help too. Oh god, yeah, she's smelling this like crazy. Can <laughs> <clears throat> I put this on here or uh -huh. not? Okay. I'm gonna reach over you. Okay. okay <clears throat> this part is kind of fun. Yeah. This is the art part. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are gonna be really good, and mine are gonna be like okay. I think the whole thing. Wait, this one looks really good though. Look in the middle. Heck yeah. You did it. Oh, that's a really thick piece of bacon too. Oh darn. One of these, <laughs> one, yeah, there's like this one random, really, I don't know, it's probably machine cut bacon. This is just. I think Costco? This, yeah, I think there's this Costco bacon. Um, we got some really good bacon from, uh, what, what is it called? Von Hansen's? Von Hansen's, yeah. I can't wait to use that. Yeah. Look at it. I'm like a pro now. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> See, it's a lot easier when you have multiple people doing this. There's, there's and then my mom and my uh, stepdad would come over and I'd make these. I'd get everybody helping. I thought you had it on your forehead, but now I see the cameras right there. Yeah. in a Ziploc bag because I just touched my raw bacon hands all over that bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not just seeing them all lined up looking so delicious. Takes away my earlier jalapeno fears. Oh yeah, these, I, I don't know if you hear me talking in the camera, but these aren't going to be too spicy. Once they're, oh, they're already de-veined, de seeded and they're going to cook down, so okay. it's not, they're not going to be well, I'm not afraid Your breakfast anymore. was a lot spicier than these are going to be. Oh. <laughs> My breakfast was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yours are looking better than mine, actually. It's because I'm an artist. And I'm kidding, you're an artist, too. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I'm putting in a sneaky piece of bacon right there. Do we have an extra? Oh no, okay. I thought we had an extra one for a sec there. And then... Wait, we do. Because I have one in my hand. There's one more. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I counted them right. Alright. Come here, little guy. Delicious. <laughs> I like cooking with you. Can't wait to get to the eating part. That's also fun. <laughs> Are these little bits or just throw them on the cookie sheet? What are they? Two little. Here, this one looks like he needs a bacon friend right there. <laughs> ah. Bacon friend. All right, let me wash my hands real fast. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Do you need anything else right now? Oh, no, these are really just go in the oven and then on. Uh... You want me to put that sauce in a Tupperware or something? Yeah, or just enough, yeah. We have one of those little ones. Hmm. Oven's ready, that's yeah. good. That was perfect timing. Okay, so, you see, we have the pan of the wrapped turds. <laughs> and they're going in the oven now. Uh, I'm gonna do center rack, 350. Sir. I don't know, 20 minutes, start. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, see, I think it's useful. I'm gonna throw these away because there's bacon fingies on them. This will fit your dish, right? Yeah, sure. That'll, that'll be delicious or something. Um, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna bake these, uh, like I said, for about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. We're just gonna wait till the bacon looks done. When the bacon looks done, the whole thing is done. So uh, we'll come back in a little bit. All right, and we're back. It's been about half an hour now, maybe a little bit longer, and these things are looking done. Oh yeah. Let's see that. 
little bit of that cream cheese leaked out, but that's not too much actually. So yeah, those are looking very done, very done. Um, Let's let this cool for a second here. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Got a little bit of color on that sausage there. Bacon's done. So to the point where I like it anyway. Make sure you take the toothpick out before you eat it. For obvious reasons. Okay, uh Oh, it's very hot. Why'd you buy one now? It's good though. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Mmm. Yeah, the jalapeno's perfectly cooked. Sausages. Got a nice little bit of snap texture to it. Bacon's good. Cream cheese is awesome. Oh, I love that Chipotle cream cheese. All right, well, you saw how easy these are to make. Try them at your next uh, next barbecue. Or just whenever. Uh, okay, bye.